bienvenidos, bienvenidas al canal de Tony Gamer, tu canal de videojuegos. Hola, ¿qué tal estáis? Bienvenidos a un nuevo recorrido de PGA Tour 2K21. En concreto vamos a jugar el Valero Texas Open en TPC San Antonio. Vamos ahí en la clasificación, todavía vamos los primeros. Vamos a ver qué tal se nos da hoy. Empezamos ya con el vídeo. Welcome to TPC San Antonio. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And this first hole, hard one? Very hard, 454 yards from back tee. But the difficulty here, Luke, depends on the wind direction. Where is it blowing? Out of the south, right back into you. It feels like it's 490. If it's downwind, out of the north, it feels like it's 360. It's an incredible distance. So all in all, it depends on what the wind is doing. But after you hit your drive, the second shot, it's kind of a half-shaped moon green with very deep bunkers short and one in the back that you absolutely want to stay away from at all costs. A four here is always good. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Oh, that's a high-caliber shot. TPC San Antonio Rich is one of the stern tests on the PGA Tour and you get an examination right out of the gates. Second shot on this golf course, Luke, is one of the most difficult on this golf course. A deep bunker out to the right. The green runs away on the right-hand side. A tiny target for sure with the second shots. Left yourself an opportunity. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Ooh, right by the hole. This is a par putt. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Starting the round at even par. Fortune favours the brave. Plenty of bravery here. Out comes the driver. Well played, mate. It's a challenging golf course chance for players to play their way into the first major of the year absolutely and it's a challenging opportunity but it's an opportunity nonetheless it's not an easy golf course in fact at times players will walk off the golf course scratching their head and sometimes even going back in the locker room and kind of whimpering and, and licking their wounds because it can absolutely hammer you but in saying that it's tough for everybody so if you're mentally tough you can handle it. It's a golf course that doesn't give you very much. You can't expect to hit it bad and get away with it. You've got to go out there and earn every single ounce of it. It is a golf course, though, that if you do conquer it, if you do have success, it gives you a massive, massive boost going into the rest of the season because you know that you can play well at a difficult venue. That's the confidence that'll get you. It's, it's a golf course that when you show up to, Luke, you better know what you're getting yourself into because if you don't, if you go in with high expectations, it's going to knock you down a rung or two. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Looks to be going with the five iron. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay from earlier. Lining up for his second. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card. This putt is about eight feet. A 
It's half a chance of being hold this one. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Currently a couple under for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. And now we go back to the fifth hole where this happened just a moment ago. An absolute beauty by Billy Horschel. Watch this. Second shot here. That one was definitely worth another look. Outstanding. And back to the course with the live action. Time for the second shot here at the four. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. Hey, nice looking line. Fair effort that. Good birdie. And that will take him to three under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Well, TPC San Antonio gives you a few chances to get after the golf course, Rich. And right here at the fifth, there's a decision to be made off the tee. This is an excellent opportunity to be brave. Knock it on with the driver. If you lay back with an iron, a very straightforward pitch. But I just don't see the players wanting to lay up. Nicely done. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Mm. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. This is his third. Playing from around 150 yards here. Two strokes off the lead. Going with the eight iron here. This looks to be heading to the green. They're not a bad shot, that one. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Oh, just missed. Three feet to go here to the hole. And down it goes. He's currently sitting in second. Teeing off here at the seventh. Opting for the five wood. Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? 
I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. And with that, they move into first place. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. That dog will hunt. Sitting at five under par in their round. Currently in the lead. The interesting choice of the driver here. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Sometimes you hit some good ones. Sometimes you hit some bad ones. Opting for the five iron. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. And this is a great opportunity, a great look from long range. Well, that's a very well-judged putt there. Okay, let's get back to the action. Time now for the fourth shot. Well, that's a handy shot. And he needs this to save par. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Still in the lead now after that hole. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Good looking shot this. Going with the five iron here. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. And lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Lovely position for our leader here, Rich. Out in front, but a few holes to go. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Oh, that was pure. Second shot here at the 10th. Looks to have opted for the 8-iron. Nicely done. 16 feet to the hole. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And that will take him to six under. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Billy Horschel's playing some beautiful golf. Risky little bunker shot. But watch this.
they're the kind of shots that you remember after a day's work on the links. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Looks to be going with the six iron. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Well hold. Now, two shots up after that one. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. from about 130 yards here. Opting for the 9-iron. This one's going right at the pin here. Wow, what a shot. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. This putt about 11 feet in distance. This one's looking good. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to seven under. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. This would be a great up and down. Ooh, that almost went down. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. We have a par three on this one. That's a good-looking shot there. Putting for birdie. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And this was from Billy Horschel from just a little while back. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. They've hold it. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Our current leader is up by three shots. Maybe feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Yeah. 
Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Luke, do not buy any lottery tickets tonight. You're absolutely wrong where that golf shot ended up. Setting up in the first cut. Let's hope this one gets a good lie because it's heading towards the rough. Getting ready to play their third. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Well, this would be a big birdie here. Good putt to make. That wasn't your best effort, was it? And this putt coming up for his par. Well done. Sitting at minus eight for the tournament. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Going with the six iron here. That should find the surface. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Down on hole number 18 as Justin Thomas gets ready to hit. Time for the fifth shot. Fifth. Over the last handful of years, Rich, we've had a bunch of players come out on tour, but few have impressed more than Justin Thomas. Justin Thomas is this younger generation of player who's absolutely fearless. He knows that he belongs on the PGA Tour, and it shows week in and week out with his style of play. And the putt drops, now an eight under, heading down the stretch. And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. And after that hole, leading Patrick Cantlay by a couple of strokes. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Opting for the six iron. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Ouch, that hurts. Par putt coming up here. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Here's some action from just a short time ago. And what about this from Billy Horschel, right out of the top draw? Well, that was some fancy shot making there. Let's recap it. Beamer, that was right out of your playbook. A touch of wizardry. And after this hole, that's how it looks. And after that hole, you've built a two shot buffer over Patrick Cantlay. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. 
as we get down the stretch here at TPC San Antonio, there's a number of options that can be taken. This 17th is a fascinating hole. Luke, if it's playing downwind, a driver is a must. If it's back into the wind, take out the iron for safety. Oh, that's outstanding. Another you know, great shot by our leader. Wow. There's a lot of power in that one. Boom. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high calibre. This one's for Birdie. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Currently three strokes up after that hole. Well, while the closing hole at TPC San Antonio can be reached in too rich, it's all set up by the tee shot. Tee shot must find the fairway. If not, you have water hazards left and bunkers right that will gobble up that second shot if you're slightly out of position. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. Well, that was absolutely met. Great strike. That a boy. Good shot. And here we are with the third shot. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. Steady on. It's been an impressive display today. Hold this putt for a 63. It was on a good line. Bogey putt coming up here. Ooh. And this next putt here is for a double bogey. Well, any victory in the Lone Star State is one her joy. Congratulations to our Valero Texas Open winner. I got to say, this was a tough, hard-earned victory. The conditions out there this week were brutal all around. And they know it. And I got to say that I I'm a little jealous right now, Luke, because the champion gets a nice pair of boots and a beautiful sexy pair of boots they are a little jealous but you know i got a bunch of pair of my house too so pues hemos acabado de la peor forma posible, ¿eh? hemos hecho un doble buggy en, en el último hoyo cosa de lo cual no estoy nada orgulloso pero bueno vamos a ver la clasificación Mira, aún así hemos ganado el, el trofeo Valero Texas Open. No muy merecido por esta, este último hoyo, pero oye, ya que nos lo han dado, pues bienvenido sea. Pues así acaba un nuevo gameplay de este PGA Tour 2K21, donde hemos hecho un nuevo recorrido, un recorrido que ha estado bastante complicado, porque si os habéis dado cuenta, el desnivel del suelo era bastante notable y nos lo ha complicado bastante en alguna que otra ocasión. Pero bueno... Hemos conseguido la copa que era nuestro objetivo y nada, os espero en próximos vídeos. Adiós. Muchísimas gracias por haberos pasado por el vídeo, espero que os haya gustado y si os ha gustado no olvidéis dejar like y suscribiros al canal. Muchas gracias y hasta un próximo vídeo. Adiós.